And now for something completely different, a Reno Sparks Area Institution Miller's Chop Shop. And it all started right here with this pickup found in a field for $100. And they put their own beautiful personal touch on it. And when they were done, this $100 pickup sold for $18,000 great business was born. Randy and Robert and their family are uh, so well known in the national hot rod community for their creativity, blending the old and the new in a bunch of all different ways. Striper Josh is the third generation Miller in the business. He's Robert and Randy's nephew and going to show us some of his handiwork here. This is a tank I actually did for my girlfriend's little bobber and it's a picture of her and all of the tattoos that she has and that's all hand painted old school with, with paint brushes. This is actually one of the very first pieces that I started on and how I got started pinstriping was just taking rusty pieces of metal like this around the shop and, and laying lines. So Josh went from this to this in about eight years time, all self-taught? Yes. What's the wildest thing you could do with a 65 GMC step side pickup? I would say it's this. Hand-built frame, hand-built headers, removable hard top. Randy and Robert can best explain there is so much more to see here. Where do we start? The cab's reversed. Put the dash on the other side so the doors open backwards. Then we use a 455 Buick motor. The shell is another hood. And this is a 34 LaSalle grill. So folks, you tell me, is Miller's Chop Shop an automotive restoration facility, fabrication shop, or an art gallery? Well, I got a lot of sun and we had a lot of fun, but we've only scratched the surface of all the gearhead stuff there is to do here in Northern Nevada. So enjoy hot August nights and all that Reno has to offer. And next year, maybe we'll come back to Miller's and we'll be driving this thing. <laughs>